AI data centers in space? Is this the new space race? Something big is happening above your head right now, and it might reshape the entire AI industry. Tech companies have quietly begun building orbital AI data centers. Yes, actual compute stations in space. And today, Space Race 2.0 is officially underway. First up, Blue Origin. For more than a year, Bezos' team has been developing the hardware needed to run AI off-planet. Their goal? Reduce cooling costs, scale compute, and use Earth's orbit as the next cloud region. Then there's Alphabet. Last month, they revealed Project Starcatcher, a plan to test their own orbital data center by 2027. Think of it as Google Cloud, but with a view. Even OpenAI wants in. The company has openly discussed the advantages of space-based compute, and even explored buying a stake in rocket maker Stoke Space earlier this year. Faster training, lower energy consumption, and almost unlimited expansion. And NVIDIA is already proving it works. A startup backed by NVIDIA, StarCloud, just became the first to train AI models from space. Their satellite carries a full NVIDIA H100 GPU, running real workloads in orbit. But all of these efforts point to one thing. SpaceX is the one to watch. Investors like Gavin Baker say that the most important thing that's going to happen in the next three to four years is data centers in space. And if anyone can actually build them, it's SpaceX. Elon Musk has already confirmed that SpaceX will be doing orbital data centers, using upgraded Starlink satellites to host massive AI compute. The company is even testing H100 GPUs in space right now. And with a potential 2026 IPO estimated at $1.5 trillion, possibly the largest in history, SpaceX plans to use that capital to buy chips, build the infrastructure, and push AI beyond Earth's surface. The cloud is moving to orbit, and the race has already begun. Be sure to like and subscribe for more short-form news from Newsroom.